sir. It's wrestling night in Iowa. I'm Midnight Guthrie alongside the right price Aaron Masterson. And we've had a wild turn of events here in 3X Wrestling as our heavyweight champion, the Rebel Jeremy Wyatt, out with a broken leg. He'll be out for months. As a result, May's gauntlet for the gold on May 25th in Des Moines. A Rumble-style battle royal is now for the 3X Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, how exciting. Everyone's going to be competing. You never know who gets in our gauntlet for the gold. We've seen returns. We've seen new wrestlers. But all you need to know is it's for everything. So a new champion will be crowned that night. Also coming up for 3X Wrestling, Friday, June 8th, as part of Governor's Days and Grimes. We'll make our debut in Grimes with an event featuring the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, appearing. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not passing out money, but he will give you autographs. Come meet him. He's a great guy. And the next night, we'll make our debut in Boone, Iowa, uh, at the Boone County Fairgrounds, Friday J or Saturday, June 9th. That should be a great event. And now, let's get to the action. The Mauler. Domino Rivera, Ricky Kwong, together they are the MMA! Chad Milan already spinning toward the fans here at Tumwa. Can you blame him? Sensation Ricky Kwong from Laos, Domino Rivera from Tijuana, Mexico, and the Libyan Nightmare, the Mauler. They're certainly the opposite of popular here in the Tumble. Charles, the rock star Jimmy Rockwell, and rock and roll Mike Seidel. They weigh in at a total combined weight of 590 pounds. The team of Jimmy Rockwell, Mike Seidel, and Sir Bradley Charles. Come on, Mylan. It's the bell rings for this contest as Domino Rivera starts off with Jimmy Rockwell. Good strategy on the part of the MMA as Rivera, I would say, has the endurance advantage as far as his trio is concerned. Informing the crowd about how they are great sportsmen, stick to the rules. You have to see that in any contest they've been involved with here in Korea. I'd and say that of anybody in the country. Right 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 best sportsman. Are you kidding me? Not at all. These guys are by the book. Chad Miley would not have it any other way. Rockwell. Nice inside leg right there by Rivera. Now he's working over that left leg, that left knee of Rockwell. Oh, he misses on the elbow there. Rivera ducks to the corner. He's not scared! He's not scared! It's now the former peer wrestling champion, Ricky Kwong, tagged in. He's a former tag team partner of Rockwell. They had a great rivalry for the Peer Wrestling title. And another former Peer Champions in the ring is SBC's in. SBC's 
SBC, hoping to get some revenge here on the MMA. And the MMA, on the other hand, recently lost, the Mahler and Quan recently lost to Bradley Charles and Tyler Cook in Grinnell, Iowa. But leading up to that, SBC dropped two singles losses to the Mahler and Quan, respectively, thanks in large part to a distraction caused by a video from his rival Eric Cannon. Well, if you're gonna find yourself distracted by a video, you may be in the wrong business. SBC's in incredible shape here tonight. I guess we see challenging Quan to a dance. the ladies. Oh, you better believe it. That, that was just a preview. I have it on good authority. Ricky Kwong is no joke. He's a hell of a singer when it comes to karaoke. Oh, that's that's it's a voice like an angel. Yes, look at that. Wow. SBC just truly humiliated Kwong there. Look at small package now. Kick out by Kwong. Kwong's gonna be fired up. Boy, what is going on? SBC right with a headlock takeover. Kwong's really gonna mount some offense here. Uh, Kwong's just playing possum with him right now. Violet is furious. Always gotta watch out for Kwong. He's a truly dangerous competitor. Seidel comes over the top rope now. Oh! Punch right to the midsection. Oh, look at those martial arts strikes. And a big shot by from Seidel. Oh! Big European uppercut into the shoulder blades. More than anything, I think Kwong was just confused by that martial arts skill right there. It's interesting there. to see Seidel come in and start striking away. As strikes are not really necessarily a big part of his arsenal, likes to stick to the high flying and the technical moves. There's a lot of leg base striking, I will say that. Nice counters here. To a snap mirror. Ricky Kwong, seated position. Oh, another European uppercut to the shoulder blades. Sidelli, former 2009 World Wrestling Illustrated Rookie of the Year. Also the brother of WWE star Evan Bourne. Very, very, very talented in his own right. Big suplex on Ricky Kwong. As the Mahler comes in and breaks that up. He's had enough of this. The MMA's furious. And how much fun the trio of the Centaurs and SBC are having here tonight. I wish it was supposed to be about fun, Guthrie. This is supposed to be about beating your opponent. Six-man tag. That's a lot of money coming your way at the pay window. Double knees. Charging from Rockwell. Cover. One with the shoulder up. Brad, I think they want you back yet. Do they? I think they want you back Tag out to SBC. Wong really needs to get out of the Nice double team work here. Big European uppercut by SBC. These guys need to stop playing to the crowd and try and finish the match. Oh, Mylan grabs the foot right in front of referee Jeremy Robb, risking disqualification, and the Mahler strikes. Oh, look at Ricky Kwong, kick the rope. Ricky Kwong was trying to exit the ring right there. And Blocked by Using Jones. the ropes for a low blow. I didn't see that. I have to give him credit, though. That is a legal way to accomplish a low blow here in professional wrestling. Savvy move by the veteran Ricky Cuomo. Fire shirt from the giant mauler. Big boot. My word, what a big boot. That ought to put an end to their fun. SBC is going to be walking a straight line and squiggly town after that one. It's the mauler. The chops to the throat. Letting Domino Rivera get in on this. Three strikes in a row, right to the rim page. Tags out to Rivera. Good technique there. Look at this! Distracting Jeremy Robb. He 
They need to get side out of the ring this here. This is total chaos now. The Mahler's choking him with the tag ropes. SBC's caught up in the ropes. Rockwell and Seidel are not the legal men. They need to get out of the ring immediately. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the blatant cheating by Jimmy Rockwell Yeah, by the Seidel. MMA. What? Apparently, no. Hollinger up here in the booth has only been Once again, they're distracting the, the referee. Let's look at this. The Mahler, serious damage has been done to Sir Bradley Charles here in the MMA's corner. Shot by Ricky Kwong. Another strike to the back. And really, when the Mahler came into play, he really gave his team an advantage here. Comes in, hits a lot of powerful moves, heavy strikes, and tags right back out. Smart strategy on the part of the MMA. Well, rally by SBC now. Shut up! Ten minutes remaining in this contest. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes have elapsed. Ten minutes remaining. Highland was just flapping his arms like a damaged bird. At Big knee there by Ricky Kwong. Highland's getting progressively fired up even with his team having the advantage right now. This crowd's really getting to him. And if the crowd gets some violent, that distracts him from helping his team. And it looks like they can use some help right now. Let's look at the strikes from Sir Badley Charles. Yells Rivera again. Kwong catches him. Oh! Fingertips away. Oh! Kwong drives him right back into the corner there. Once again, Bradley Charles just oh, runs right back to the wrong corner. He needs to stop what? doing He's that. What? He's got a pace. He was, I mean, that was he great strength by Ricky Paul. Here would be for him to just tag out. Well, he's trying to, Hollinger. He needs to drive a little harder. Right now, he's, he's trying anything he can to get out of the submission hole. You know, Kwong, the master of the lethal Laotian lock. Now, if SPC can reach his foot back, that left foot, looks like he could potentially get to the ropes if he can just find a way. So instead, he's working up to a vertical base. Kwong is showing signs of concern. SPC is a very strong competitor. Elbows right to the midsection. Three in a row, big forearm smash. Kwong misses him. He made the right hand. And another one. SBC fires away. Forearm. Island misses, grabbing the foot. Oh, double cross body. Kwong lands on SBC. Kwong took a lot of damage himself on that one. I don't think he's getting up from really, this. Charles hit his head pretty hard on that move, too. The Seidel is desperately wanting the tag. Rockwell nervously anticipating the tag himself. Look at SBC kicks Kwong away, makes the tag to Seidel. Rivera gets the tag. Look at this, a house of fire. A drop kick there by Seidel. Now the Mauler's coming in the ring. He certainly wasn't tagged in. The Mauler thought better of that. Rock and roll, whoa! Big flip there by Seidel, kicking him on the way up. Hits him with the clothesline. Bulldog, nails him! Right in the center of the ring. Cover. The Mauler. Oh! What an elbow drop by the Mauler. That could have crushed the chest of Rivera. The Mauler's 280 pounds. That would have killed Seidel. And the Mauler outweighs Seidel by 100 pounds, but what a drop kick by Mike Seidel. Whoa! Spear there by Sir Bradley Charles. Oh, big Enziguri there. Tags in Rockwell, he's going up top. Could be the rock on bomb. Nails it, what a move. And what a win here for the Electric Centaurs and Sir Bradley Charles. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners, the team of Jimmy Rockwell, Mike
Fantastico, Fantastico, or Gage Octane. The crowd is solidly behind Octane. Look at Ash just pulling on Eagle's neck. This is ridiculous. Cannon and Scarpone are brawling up the aisle way. Ash is up on the apron. What is he doing? Brent. Look at that. Gage Octane has just eliminated Egotistico Fantastico. And Ego has just thrown out Gage Octane. What is going on? Wait, Ref Billy J, what's he doing? He's calling for the bell. We have a winner. I don't believe it. Egotistico Fantastico has won. He's won the Battle Royal. Brian Ash coming in, chair shot. Come on, Brian. That's enough. Enough is enough. Come on. And look at Gage Octane. He's arguing with the referee. Big chair shot to the back. Come on, Brian. Enough is enough. Somebody get out here and help him. Another vicious chair shot to the back. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the T. There's a Godfather's Specialty Pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza.
I can see it now. You see, it's been a long time since the Violet Management Agency received any kind of title shots here in 3XW. They're few and far. You, you, you can't. We haven't had a title shot in over a year. Not anymore. No, 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 no. Not anymore. Because the winner of the Gauntlet for the Gold is now declared new 3XW Heavyweight Champion. My God. My God. I can see it now. Whether it's Domino Rivera, who's out right now trying to fix his visa problems because Americans are the stupidest human beings on the face of the earth. Whether it's the Mahler, the Libyan nightmare, the man who is number 30, the very last man to walk down that way. Whether it's Ricky Cole, the man who's had the greatest, the greatest experiences in battle royals, yet never has he won gauntlet for the gold. Is it his time to finally shine? And how about the Turkish Terror, 333 pounds, Mustafa from Istanbul. <laughs> you will not put the Model Management Agency down. You will not silence the Model Management Agency. And I got them for the gold. You're not going to throw them out. What happened tonight was a fluke. But you know what they say, when the door closes, another one always opens. And next month, May 25th, it's the gauntlet for the gold. And it's every man for himself for the 3XW heavyweight title. And I'm sure every other person has come in this room and told you all that it's their turn and it's going to be their night to seize the opportunity. But they're all wrong, you see. This is my time, my time out there to be the champ. To get my hand raised. Those 30 other 3XW competitors, when you step through those ropes on May 25th, you step into the crosshairs of the professional. And I never miss my mark. Are you into WWE or 3X Wrestling? Then we have the place for you to hang out every Monday night and Sunday WWE pay-per-view events monthly. The Keg Stand in West Des Moines at 3530 West Town Parkway. Every Monday night you can hang out with 3X Wrestling staff and wrestlers while we watch Monday Night Raw. Plus the monthly WWE pay-per-view events including WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam and more. Friend 3X Wrestling and The Keg Stand on Facebook and we'll keep you updated. See you at The Keg Stand for wrestling, drinks and great food from Bach Catering. Everybody, it's Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, and I'm coming to Central Iowa. That's right, on Friday, June the 8th, I'll be joining 3X Wrestling in Grimes, Iowa for an annual event called Donor's Day. Man, come on down and join us because there's going to be a lot of entertainment, good old wrestling, and food. Oh yeah, the Million Dollar Man, he loves his food. I'll be there emceeing this wonderful event along with the stars from 3X Wrestling, as well as riding the rides, participating in all the festivities. I'm the Million Dollar Man, so I'm going to be spending some of my money with those vendors, that's right. But most of all, the food, man. The Million Dollar Man loves that food. So if you want to get your money's worth, you'll come down there and you'll join us on Governor's Day. And if you want more information, please go to 3xwrestling.com or grimesiowa.com. And remember, everybody's got a price for the Million Dollar Man. Gauntlet for the Gold, SBC, right here at All Play in Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, you better believe I want it. I want it really bad. I have been busting my butt, working out in the gym, perfecting my craft. Well, the time for SBC is now. The time for Sir Bradley Charles is now. May 25th. Best believe SBC is bringing the house down. I'm gonna be tossing guys out one by one over the top rope. And at the end of the day, when it's all settled, when the dust clears, when the smoke is gone, when the charade is over, SBC 
will take his rightful place at the top of 3XW and become the new heavyweight champion. They booed me. They hated me. After everything I've done for 3XW, I was a legend. I was a star. I was the man who took this company with the North Star Express and raised it. On my back, Melvin, to where it is now. And no one appreciates it. No one cares. They turn their back on me. The lack of respect is sickening. And when the goal for the gold rolls around in May, I'm coming back with one goal. I want that title. I want that belt. And I want that respect. Remember who I am. Remember Darren Corbin. I'm going to be your next champion.